Hey, I'm King David. It's early in the morning. I don't know, maybe about uh, 7, almost 7. And I came out to feed the rabbits and I did a little fire out here in the back. And um, so today I want to be working on uh, some sheet music. This is something that we've never done before. And so I want you to come in and join me. I'm reading some sheet music, music that was lent to me from a neighbor. And I'm going to see if I can play some of that music and show you how to read sheet music. All right. Is that cool? All right. So thanks for hanging at the fire. And uh, we'll be inside in just a little bit. All right. King David, David and Goliath Music, BeatClass.com. And don't forget those Skype classes and uh, the Sammy membership over at GuardiAc.com. One love. That is an incredible fire, man. I love it. It's so warm. And this is a cool view from inside the studio. You can see the fire. Come past the bunny. To the pond. And to the studio. Today we're going to work on some sheet music, uh, something you've never ever seen me do. I'm going to read some sheet music. Uh, we're going to read the chord changes. You can see the chord blocks. Those are made for guitar, but we're going to transpose those to piano or keyboard. You can see them there. Uh, what a, an appropriate title. Oh, what a beautiful morning. And uh, I'm King David, David Glock Music, BeatClass.com. Okay, so my neighbor had all this incredible sheet music from Rogers and Hammerstein. And uh, so she let me borrow it for a little while so I can uh, read some of the music. And this is something I haven't done in a while, but um, something I enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and read some of this music. And uh, the first thing when reading music for me, I like to do is get the melody. I think this thing is giving me a little bit of a hard time, but I'm sure I'll get it. So getting the melody means that I'm going to read just the top line. <laughs> if I can get this thing to stand up. Let me try again. Maybe what I'll do is take the cover off so I don't ruin it. My neighbor might not let me in more music if I do that. All right, cool. So it's early in the morning. This is really a great time for music for me. And I just got out and I did my rounds with the rabbits and I stood outside of a fire for a little while. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read some of this music. All right, first thing I do is check. The name of the song is Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. Many of you may know that. Rogers and Hammerstein are an incredibly famous songwriting duo. And the music has been featured in many motion pictures throughout the years. It's good to know uh, your history about other people's productions and songwriting so you can really get a grasp on where you're going. Alright, first thing I'm going to look at is the key signature and the time signature. It's in 3-4. So 3-4 so is expressed in 1-2-3-2-2-3-1-2-3-2 or 1-2-3-2-2-3-3-2-3-4-2-3. So we know now what the rhythm of the song is. All right, now I got my key, which is in the key of E flat. And the reason why I can tell you that it's in the key of E flat is because it has three flats. B flat, E flat, A flat. And you always take the, the next to the last flat, and that is your key. So it's B flat, E flat, A flat. So E flat is going to be my key. Now if I had B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, it would be in the key of A flat. And those are things that you can learn when you come over to Guardiac.com and get a membership over there. Um, if you get the IMIT membership, I-M-I-T membership, um, you will actually learn about a lot of this stuff. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I see my notes here. I got a B flat C, B flat C, B flat C. All right. I'm going to go ahead and transpose that to the keyboard, and I'll go ahead and read it.
And that's really just how that goes. And I'll read that line. And then I'll read each note one at a time and play it in the key signature and the time signature. Alright, once I get that melody together, and I'll turn my volume up. Play it one more time. Alright, once I get that melody together, I have my top line, I can then begin to add the chords to it. And they, they have, thankfully, the chords are written right there. You got an E flat to a B flat 7. And this is why you want to learn the chords. See? E flat, B flat 7, E flat. Because then, when someone says, okay, play me E flat, you can go straight to it and go, oh, that's just an E flat, G, and a B flat. What's a B flat 7? B flat, F, A flat. Don't I know what a beautiful morning. And then you can hum, hum the melody and you can understand how this whole uh, piece of music is being expressed. They give you everything that you need to read this piece of music. They give you what tempo, what time, what rhythm. They give you the key signature. They give you the chords even. So within, I would say about 10 minutes, I could be playing this whole song. Okay? There's a couple of changes in here. You have uh, a B flat diminished. I always look ahead in the music and see where there may be some challenging points. Uh, but for the most part, everything is really straightforward. Um, you got an A flat minor, C minor. I've taught you guys what a C minor is. It's going to be C, E flat, G. A flat minor. C, E flat. And those are really beautiful chords. Okay, that'll be enough for today. We'll do some more of this in the future. Remember to sign up for a Skype class. Many of my students are really enjoying that. And also, the SAMI membership is growing. So join that, and you can get to see more of these type of videos on a daily basis. All right? King David, David Glass Music, bclass.com. Peace.